Hey, hey, and welcome to Wild Times Aviation. Thank you for joining me on this, where I'm going to talk about engines, my engine specifically, oil changes, uh, some of the steps that I've taken to extend the life of my engine uh, through the oil change process, as well as uh, the battery uh, life extended through some uh, components here that I've purchased and then I've added to my aircraft. So stick around. I think you'll really get a lot out of this one. And please share it with other folks. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. Uh, and if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Because my goal is to make everybody a smarter aviator, a safer aviator, and have lots of fun. So I want to show you, first I built the box here. Primarily, primary reason for building the box was to, in, in, although I've never had the water flood into here, I wanted to get it up off the ground. I have two devices that I put inside the box, and I'll show them both to you here. The first one is the battery minder, and you can see the battery minder is a uh, by Matt battery minder registered trademark. And what it does is you plug it into your uh, you have an adapter here, and you plug it into your battery, and it continuously assesses. Uh, the level of battery charge and unlike a unlike a battery charger which constantly charges the battery minder actually shuts off uh, when it's got enough charge and then when it determines the charge needs to be uh, on the battery it'll increase so you can leave it on all the time plugged in no problem all right then the second device is this item called the black max and the black max the aircraft here is in Florida, which is the corrosion capital of the world. And you can do what you want. You can put it in a hangar, but you're still not gonna get away from the humidity uh, level that we have in Florida. So what Black Max does is, I'll show you, there's a hose. This clear hose comes out of the Black Max. There's a fan on the unit. Uh, and, and essentially what the Black Max is, is a little miniature air conditioner unit. And it pumps cold, dry air into your uh, into your engine through the oil uh, overflow line and I'll show you that in just a second so that line comes around here and comes around underneath and I'm gonna switch over to the other side so you can see a little breather line here you always good it's always got some oil on it so it's good to have a cloth and it has it comes with these uh, foam so we can get a tight seal the only thing you have to really watch on this is to make sure that when you insert it it goes up in there far enough past your ice holes, you know, so if this were to freeze, air could still get, or the oil could still get out. And you can actually feel it. There it is right there on my aircraft. And now I know that the seal is there, uh, providing that moist, or creating that dry, and dry air up into my engine compartment. And what I noticed with mine was that after I installed it, the, uh, the oil, uh, samples that I was running to the lab. Uh, I was seeing a lower uh, level of iron, which meant less rust, which is what you're after, and just a general overall improvement in your oils. So around $600 they sell for, the Black Max does, but to me, if I can extend my engine life, it's well worth the money. And so the funny thing about this aircraft, this is an 0540, a 1979 0540 engine. Uh, and the funny thing about this is that the oil in this aircraft, and every aircraft has its own sort of sweet spot where you want to uh, keep the oil level. Uh, the oil levels calls for eight quarts, and what I've discovered is the sweet spot on this aircraft is six quarts. So on an oil change, uh, I put seven quarts in there. That seven quarts mains maintains that level for about the first 15 hours, and then I... Uh, end up adding a quart between oil changes and I do change my oil every 25 hours uh, when I bought the plane I was doing 50 uh, again my metals were running a little bit high in my oil sample so uh, they recommended that uh, that I shorten the the oil change period to 25 hours when I did that it did drop it significantly so I've maintained 25 and uh, to me that's that's the right right amount between every 25 hours, I usually put about two quarts of oil and I burn the shell, uh, or run the shell, uh, the 100 plus, and I'll show you. Pull that sample 
uh, no matter which laboratory you use to do it. You want to pull that sample during the middle of the drain period. Don't pull it right when you first start draining. You should warm your engine up completely. Uh, I had a uh, I had a mechanic one time, it was in the shop, and he says, oh, I'll take care of your oil change. He did not, uh, he did not run it up first. He did a cold oil change, and my metals came back again at a higher level. So you want to, the idea of running that engine is that engine puts all those particulates that are in your oil into suspension. So you want to run it up, not just, to, not just run it, you actually want to take it up in the pattern a couple times. Really heat that, heat that oil up. That's how I keep my engine in tip-top shape. And if you follow these steps, uh, I believe you'll, you'll find uh, the same results with your aircraft. Again, I've got a 42-year-old engine, about 1,400 hours on it, and uh, she's going strong.